Hello everyone, this is Heroes Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sun Quan Trivia Mario Let's Play. We continue for episode 8 from turn 23 in the spring season of 212. Last episode we ended with a face-off against Cao Cao's actual army here. And we will definitely fight this pretty soon, but first things first, we'll take care of some of the spring season stuff. So he is currently administrator for us, so I think we'll focus on the administrator trait first. We'll give him... Wow, are we treating him this nicely? I think we'll just make small adjustments. We won't actually treat him that nicely. Actually, we should give this out more. The 8% campaign movement, it's really good. But regardless, we have a few adjustments to be made. We didn't get this saved, and we can barely enter his zone, and that should protect him. We can also retreat both armies if she should attack with night battle. We finally get our reform to pick the Silk Road Expedition, one more trade, and also access to the Tier 5 ports, and Onyx Dragon as a unit. Speaking of that trade agreement, let's see if we can get a partner here. No one available. We'll have to create a vassal then. But that vassal needs port access or some sort of access to our capital for the trade in Jianye. Hmm, that's a bummer. We'll try to get someone to work out. I'm sure we'll find a partner. But that's pretty much all the setup stuff we have to do. I won't look at this just yet, or at least I won't pick it just yet, because things like this we don't have to do, and then we can get better choices. It's not terrible, but it could be better. So let's initiate the fight. I think we can do better than close, because as we stated last time, the siege weapon's not going to enter the battle in time. Tosal's rank 8, fairly impressive. Ooh, the Jade Seal. Thunder of Jian An. This is really testing my no execution policy, but there's 0% of capture. Maybe he'll drop the item. You'll never drop a weapon, but you can always drop your follower and auxiliary item. So there's a chance we can get it regardless. Let's fight. We can't night, well, we don't want to night battle because Cao Cao's army is a reinforcement. We want to drag it in in this fight. We, we don't have movement to reach him. And plus we have a very nice reinforcement of all calves. They'll be fatigued because they're marched, but um, still be faster than Cao Cao's army, which is also fatigued. Just hoping for... Ah, so he does have the defensive structure because it's a Cao Cao farmland. Reinforcement coming from here. We focus entirely on this group. Right, this way we don't even have a flank on the side. Okay, we're gonna move up so that they're in our range right when they come out. Perfect. We have Hell of Arrows. How we're gonna try to ride to the side and start shooting Hail of Arrows right off the bat. We'll save these in the back. We want a duel with Ling Tong if possible. Yeah, fire arrows. We'll keep these in reserve. There's a chance the garrison will come out and fight us, but we'll ignore that for the most part. Our reinforcement, we'll grab them later. We'll micro him in the beginning, and we'll leave the siege weapon to just auto-fire because Hell of Arrow is going to do more for us. 
又是一波，敌人援兵正在接近。Oh, Tata feels good about that duel, huh? We're happy to take him. Siege weapons are firing. Yeah, we're gonna kill the pesky northern mounted archers with this. Nope. Did that cancel the action? No. Okay, so he still got it. I'm gonna roar on them. Don't dismount me. Alright, let's get all of them. The other one? We might as well just. Auto refuse. Send him out to take on one of the duels. We'll probably. They're both pretty good. Who do we want to heal and get a boost? I think Tao Tao get the boost. I'll say I'll, I'll initiate. You get more experience for initiating. Hold on. There we go. We'll dump a debuff and then run away. We'll do a. Hold on. A lot of things to micro. Run back. Give ourselves a boost. Give him a debuff. Give a roar here. Yeah, run back, run back, run back. They're trying to line up. Just perfect. I'm gonna shoot across the enemy formation here. Make sure they don't bounce back. Alright, Sahodin's about to go down. Salsal's gonna go berserk. Enemy cavalry charging me. Try to loop around the trebuchet. Oh, Salsal didn't, didn't, didn't get angry. He's Oathworn with Kongrong? What world is this? Right, I want to get a duel with Salsal. Gonna pull you over here again. It's not gonna come on for a while, but it should still come on soon enough. Ooh. Didn't see this, but we saw it soon enough, I guess. Yeah, there's a pesky. He can play fight himself with this ability. Alright, we got the roar and everything ready to go soon. Alright, shoot this. Is he shutting down my abilities? Yes, he is. Okay, but I'm winning this straight up. So, it's all good. Fire it off, fire it off, don't disrupt. There we go. Alright, we're caught in a bad place though. Let's charge out. I'm not gonna hit Coron here, because if we kill Coron by accident, Coron gets a heal. We're gonna throw our cavalry units together. There's gonna be towers hitting us, most likely, but we're gonna ignore that. You stay here. Finish him off. We'll finish him off, actually. There's three of them still here? Pull away, we got one more nice volley left. And then we'll turn our attention to inside, which will just be a rush. I'll keep grabbing him. Let's cut him five. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten 
之已至，请军。Alright, job's done. War dive on the next cavalry. While they're low and wavering, we're gonna go roar them to make sure they're just gone. Team roll units, the 30 second rule. Nice roar, get out. They didn't get dismounted, pretty lucky. I mean, they were moving, so they were not braced. I'm gonna charge in there. Right, we're out of ammo. Team two. We're just gonna break through by force. We have enough to do it. lit the oil. Okay. We're here to just debuff and charge through. Let the actual vanguards deal with them. Alright, their mess charge in time. Try to approach them from different angles to kill them off. We'll kill their last general. Once enough. Heal back. Heal back. We have the roar back. There we go. That's what we need. Shut down the range units. There we go. Double. I mean, we wasted a roar, but I think. Charging through fire here, but you can see the chain routing is happening. No big deal. Charge through. Yeah, gunning's dismounted already. Okay, not microing here, not very good. Alright, this is what we want. Split them off, charge them from different directions. So they're not braced. We pick on the easy target, the Qingzhou units first. And then we'll leave this... Oh, this is also a Qingzhou unit. It just has a different icon for the Qingzhou Spear versus the Qingzhou Assault Infantry. Well, Assault Infantry is not even actually a, a pole-arm unit. It's a purple unit with the symbol of Ji because it uses a short Ji. This is actually not something we are scared of. We should just be charging these straight on. Yeah, we're overwhelming them with just sheer cavalry. When we have more horses than they have infantry, it's, it's kind of over. It will be kind of costly, though, for us, but... Um, that's fine. Coral's still alive somehow. Let's kill this. There's still a bunch of spears there. Kind of annoying. So we force this and then just charge Coral right there. Stick one person on that. There's the 30 second waiting period before the Qingzhou unit officially routes. And then most mercenary cavalry are not that high morale, so we will probably bounce in and out a couple times. Stick on that. Yeah, most of you go kill Coral. Some of you go kill this guy here. We can use another roar. Yeah, we don't have our mini roar from our father's ability yet. Alright, that roar is good. Oh, getting shut down by his ability usage. Knocked out right there. Oh, 
a lot of archers. Is she still on horseback? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. Charge the archer. If you're on the side, charge the archer. It's still hard to kill spear with cav. We'll rough it out. Alright, he bounced back before he went into tower range. Good for him. Alright, see if we can dive over there. Coral's knocked out. We're kind of knocked out. He's bouncing back. Book is there. Stay here. Stay here. Captured. Back. Alright, we'll stay on one each. Okay, I'm smelling army loss. Finally. It was rough. It's decisive though, so maybe the capture chance will be decent against Saltos group. Just praying he drops the seal. Any chance? Wow, minus 18 Imperial Favor. No items. Okay. Not too bad, actually, casualty wise. This group and this group is still fresh. Ooh. Do we keep Chen? That's the question. We could. It's a nice peasantry and there's a tax building already, or perhaps that's administrative, but uh, that's administrative, that's tax. Yeah, we can do a peasantry commerce combination here. We don't need it to be so defensive, though. That seems overkill. Especially since we... Oh, the sun is also here. Ma Dai. Oh, Zhong Yao. Brought the Western forces. What weapon? Steel Duel Ji. Isn't that... Yeah, waste weapon? Seven Talents of Jian An, Jian Wan Qi Zi, which Cao Pi is, yeah, okay, I mean, he's a poet. Condensed Beauty, that should be Lady Bian's item, I, I think. Alright, we'll be able to take this with the pincer, but there's still three armies hovering, and most importantly, the goal is to take the Emperor. What's the base garrison? So it's not additional garrison, it's changing the base garrison? Is that what it's doing? Yes, okay, so it's not additional two garrisons, you get to customize the default garrison. In that case, I don't want this building. <laughs> and we also don't want it here. Do I need to recruit anything? I want trebuchets on these, so we'll do a swap. We'll pick the two lowest level ones. And because it's a swap, the unit health previously, you know, stays mostly there. Uh, bit OCD about the positioning, so we're not going to pick the two four units. Just going to do this so visually it looks better. We can also swap everyone over to Onyx Dragons, actually. So using Mercenary as an instant full health recruitment and then a swap usage to get the unit you want, including Imperial units, is a very neat trick as well. But right now we're just getting an upgrade on the Archer side of things. 
We can do that for this army as well. We don't have any access to good cavalry units yet, so not much of upgrade there. Once he hits rank 6 and can get Tiger Guards, we're going to get Tiger Guards. But this is this is it. So the battles have finished. I guess we do this first in case some of the buildings become easier. Vassal's heir force his I don't want his heir. Skill tree reset for a character that we're going to give away. That's terrible as well. I set his skill tree. He came as a kid, right? Did I not set it? I set his skill tree. Pretty sure I did. We could... Oh, well, I guess they at least swapped this to a different one. I still don't want their air. I guess we could do it for the positive diplomatic bonus. I mean, let me reopen it. Give me a different... <laughs> Sun Ben's air, at least... I think it could be Sun Fu, right? Who got... Sima Lin's art. Is he the heir? No, it's the wife. I don't want the wife. Maybe it's a different character skill tree reroll. Any chance of that? Nope. What if we recruit a new character? Well, this is in the third tier now. We have seven administrator opening. This is going to dip down... It already dipped down before it hit 400, which is kind of weird. We got too many characters that are family, apparently. Ah, oh, the marriage ones. Well, with Eidrel building up the tax collection, it should work out. General's absolutely at zero, mainly due to building loss. Which is okay. No bonuses, no negatives. I don't think we're missing out on much. Hmm. Yeah, this family situation is a little bit unexpected. Okay, we'll just not pick any of them because I don't want that. Peasantry seems to be good for us. That's our main focus. Sima Fang. I assume that would be Tal Tal's faction. Sima Yi's dad. Um, kill Sa Holdun. That's not how we want to play the game. We'll take this. I guess we will mess with him. Or maybe we want John Ball to level up faster because then he can get the roar. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Is that all? We cut the building in half halfway through because we thought we could get some discounts. So no more two builds here, but this is about to hit max, which means we're about to get max family support minus three. So we had zero point change here. I guess the only thing I could do is shift the family characters out. So like Dong Xi no longer be a court physician. Would he hate us a lot? A lot? Yeah, sort of. He's holding a very important weapon. We don't want him to just leave us. It will bounce back, but just to be safe, patrol commander. And instead, we have Zhuge Jin, who's rank 5, and General. I like Gentry more, to be honest. General feels kind of pointless to a point. 
It seems like you fine would get this job. And then he will level up and then we'll be fine. The other person is Guanping. He's also in an awkward position. He's carrying minus 30 recent event on him. He got hit with the, yeah, he got hit with the event. So we don't want to move him right now. We're at negative, we're at zero. And then with the tax building up, it'll be negative one next turn. I'll, I'll live with that. Oh, downside is something that we want to give away. We have enough food. Here, a gift for you. Cousin, here's a gift. Give us money? Very poor. Alright, good enough. So looking at the map, attitude's not hmm, Joey is not feeling it. Anyways, if they ever decide to rebel, that would be interesting. We're pushing into Tara and Tal Tal's territory, that's still the deal. Drowned out in Zamba will eventually be a thing. We're still pursuing these two over here. We still have the defensive force, which is currently good for nothing. Yeah, we're okay. We just upgraded all our units. Feel pretty good about things. We'll just take a look at diplomacy and then we can end turn. Both are willing to peace out. We haven't saved the Emperor yet, so... No deal. Let's continue. He's pulling back. Maybe an ambush, who knows. Well, my friends already said no, so guess what? Are in desperately trying to put up a defense. Anjan's army got hit. Yuan Shang, who we forced out. Oh, carrying all the goodies. Welcome. He's gonna be family, isn't he? Oh, he's gentry! Awesome. Only Dong Hao is willing to spy. I'm curious if she is a bandit character. We would like some poison volleys. Unfortunately, that's a no. Oh well. I mean, she had the boots, but we have a bunch of those boots right now too, and we have not got around to equipping those. I don't know how aggressive we can with this movement. There's a chance that there's ambush. We'll take baby steps across the bridge. Maybe it's safer to take Chen first, because we know there's no one there. Not exactly true about no one there. This is someone. Ah, Lady Zuo. Hey, we know you. We apologize for the firing. Is that a Northern Colonel? Yeah, Colonel of the Northern Army. Oh, 
Do we want to put an end to Tarin's faction? I think this might be his only piece of land left. He would get a faction wipe here. There is a Garrus. There's a... Oh, I thought he had a administrator. No longer on the field. He hired her. That's such a dumb move. He could have gotten her for free with full health retinues. The problem is the threat here. They also split away from reinforcing each other, which is not very bright, but we can't catch and oh wow that is a huge reinforcement ring. They must have a bonus. Could be from the skill tree, could be a faction thing, I'm not sure with the mods. Hmm. It's actually not super safe for us with all these armies tangled here. But wiping out Tarion is probably a good move. Taking Chen is probably also a good move. This is not a threatening army. This is an easy delegate here. Medium casualty though? Maybe I should fight it. Ah, we should be fine. Confidence. Okay, so it's, it's unit that we can replace very easily. The general taking the damage is very difficult to deal with. But because we are who we are, he's only rank 5. Rank 6 is the more crucial rank. We can do the cheapest recruits of the mercenary, which would be the archers, only 362. But no, we want them. And then immediately swap to spear guards. They're not going to be full health, but 7 eighth of the way there, it's good enough. Same thing here. We'll just do the swap. No need to delete and re-recruit. As long as we have the money to do this shuffling, it will keep us fresh and on the move at all times. He's also probably going to pick up a couple of handmade guard for the dual wing. Alright. Yeah, so now suddenly it doesn't feel so bad. Like we're essentially full health and they can't touch us. This is a little bit tall for what we want. So we first want Administrator. Bongdu is an interesting choice, but his skill would not be a commander skill despite him holding the commander symbol. Guan Yunping will take this. We're not looking. Oh, he's carrying over that 30 points. Yeah, despite the fact that we won't get her as a retinue because she's literally standing on it, I just want the bonus for the income because there's quite a bit here. I'm going to get rid of this building. We could continue this. This is actually minus family. This is interesting. Or we can get rid of that and go for commerce. Corruption wouldn't be such a big deal with the administrator, so maybe that's what we'll do. No, let's keep it. I like the prestige point on it. I like the minus family on it. The corruption reduction isn't terrible here. I would just need to... Yeah, it's not even... Does it, does it require reforms? I think so. I can't upgrade it, right? Oh, small regional city. Okay, then in that case, it's garbage. We can't build it. We can probably wait for Liu Bei's army to filter up to help us attack this. Make sure no one's marching. The big decision is whether this army dare to attack Peng Chong, which I think we do. What's the worst case scenario, right? I feel like it's a rather easy fight, to be honest. 
，释放怒火吧。We night we fight this because I I don't want to replace this unit. I think we can do this pretty cleanly. I think Pengchun should still have the ancient capital bonus, which gives a little additional prestige. We're trying to look for prestige wherever we can because we want to hit Duke rank. Weather's good. This side has the towers ready, kind of destroyed. This corner. I guess we fight here. We knock this down. If we knock, yeah. If we knock this down, we we can ignore that if we just focus here. We want to stay away from the trees a little bit. We don't want to accidentally light up one of the trees. I think that's fine. Hit that first. Some of that tree might get caught, but that's fine. Really crowded. Pretty confident it's gonna be uh, two shots. Oh, maybe not. There's still one shot left. He didn't hit it. Oh, shame. Two volleys it is. There we go. Right, now we're gonna move these up to here. Our archers even now outrange them. I got a little bit used to Warhammer UI when to go to the top to speed up the game. I'm gonna break this corner, partially because they have units there, and also partial. Oh, we went too far. How? Okay, my bad. Rather unnecessary damage. Okay, that's that's fine. Now we fire you. I mean, he has 220. I'm just surprised they could shoot us that far. I guess I'm underestimating the distance. That's actually good enough for me, actually. Let's go. He has no abilities. Oh, Zhuge Jin's abilities are all faction-wide. I have a fire spear. I don't care if you're a sentinel. You have no evasion. Ah, uh, they got on the wall. Is he a... he's a strategist, right? I have no ability that hits... Yeah, we got nothing. I got units that outrange you guys. Let's do it. Let's do regular arrows so we don't catch the trees on fire. We'll break all the walls so our archers can just hit freely inside. Actually, we'll just use regular fire well. Last four, three, two, zero.
Doing not good? Alright, he's gone now. Actually, I just want to kill the spear. Then our cavalry can finish up. I'm back. There's actually no buildings to burn. This is actually going to be more damaging. Okay, how long can you stay hidden? Finish this up. We'll tank the tower damage and whatever stands in our way. Is he unbreakable? No, he's not. Okay. Quick capture. There's also those. These should route fast. Let's go, go, go. We'll ignore that last spear unit because there's going to be army loss. Awesome. Tarin's faction is wiped. We'll lose more Imperial favor. It's going downhill fast. The path to rescue the Emperor is always filled with difficulties. How many points in pure favor? Six. Ouch. We're an officer. Chongyu, also a very awesome character. Historically, we'll grab him. Arden's wiped. Tosio returns to us. I don't want him. We'll get him and then probably fire him. Does he come to us immediately? Right, so how do we keep the spoiled kid happy? He's greedy, which is making it extra worse. I could give him a court position would be the easiest solve. He's gentry, apparently, when we looked at it. So we like that. Also, is also gentry. I think Zhang Hong can be removed. And then we'll slot. We'll get more bonuses as well. And clan points. 49. Not bad. At least you brought a, us a weapon before we fire you. Because you're just another vanguard. And we really, really don't need another vanguard. 10% campaign movement. That's actually decent. But I don't know if we need him. I really don't think we need another Vanguard. Like, we have so many of our own Vanguards to use that we don't need another one of Tall Tall's Vanguard. The only pro is he he has the right association that we, we like. Let's hold on to him. The salary is not going to be make or break for us. Ancient capital is a thing. I like that. We don't need this.
we can downgrade next turn. All right, so this army's still here, but I feel pretty good. It might they might attack Chen, uh, the livestock farm. We could probably stop it because there's also these two armies coming back. There could be like a three army collapse on Chen, very likely. One guy's been benched for a Three. while. Wu Yong? Guess Zhang Zhao, now that he's been fired, we'll try to find some, some to do for him. Zhang Pu has been administrator but hasn't been on the field, so I think we want him. Maybe. Let's go for a balance. But once again, because we're wealthy, we could technically have any unit we want on them. The good news for us is he actually wants mercenary units. Oh, wrong one. Oh, he doesn't have... Ah, uh, we can get the item. Pass it along. Alright, immediately we got ourselves a force. Now he's gonna be an issue for a little bit. How do we fix that? I guess we can steal one of the swords from... Hmm, it's hard to pick out the right one. We can also give him a position. There are some decent ones we could give that has range bonuses. I don't know if we have unlocked them yet. Let's see. Range damage, for example. Satisfaction, authority, character salary only increased a little bit. Attack rate for range units, campaign line of sight, 20 points, 10 cunning. I think this is a good combination. General of unfailing aim. He has flaming shot unlocked. He doesn't need it. Maybe this. General of the standard. We'll just take this default range damage. Yeah, we still have 10k income. We're fine. So three armies on its way to save the Emperor. Two armies stabilizing here, one army hot in pursuit. The way we're pursuing, I think... We'll see if he's willing to take this fight on the field. He might. No, even with the help, he's not willing to do it. They could triple team him, but we can escape from that. We can just retreat, and plus Joey's army is probably going to attack them and drag us into that fight. So I expect us being okay. Looks like the satisfaction's not going to kill us anywhere. Yeah, Danyang's making 11k. I don't think we have any other means of increasing the income here, but for some of our major... Where's Kwaizi? Peasantry income locations, we have a lot of ways to increase the income there. Little short on cash. Probably will run out sooner or later. Squeeze that in. I want that one, but we're too poor right now. So we'll build that first. 
out of money. Only has a hundred left. Wow, we're poor. Let's see if we can discredit. Maybe let's try a faction one. See who we can get. No one's going to be super low. We'll do it on time all. Still not working yet. We'll see what we can do long run. I don't think we're getting anyone here. That should be all. Just a quick diplomacy check. He's now no. I mean, he has plenty of armies on the field. We see them. He definitely could fight us. Let's continue. Hmm. This is the army approaching Xuchang. They sent out three armies. The Taltal army we beat the turn before. Talpi's army that we saw. And Xunyo's army that we saw. There's no reason to fight them here. It's weird. I mean, I, I prefer to side with the Obey on these matters. He's running in a weird... Oh, Joey. Uh, he didn't catch him. The other army went this way, so we'll try to catch him here. Yeah, yeah. So now the kids are balanced, three each again, with each of our concubine. Big family. Seven kids. This is a duplicate, so seven kids. I mean, historically, Sun Quan had, I think, ten kids? Seven sons. Uh, two daughters at least. Is there a third daughter aside from Sun Lubun's? Yeah, I think there's a third daughter. These are all boys. Oh, there's one girl. Two girl. Five boys and two girls. The ratio is about right, historically speaking. Not too bad. My cousins. You guys are not working it. Maybe we're, we're just not seeing it. Like, if I go to his tree... Yeah, we're just not seeing it on our side. He actually has kids. He adopted? Someone older... Someone with his dad's name? Just saying. Anyhow. Uh, no threat. I kind of want to mobilize this army, given that there's no threat coming down. We'll start going towards... Zamba's territory, because obviously once we have more success over here, Zamba is a natural target. Their job is just to clean up behind. They have almost nothing left. We don't have a good capture rate on them. They have resiliency, they're not going to die here. We're just removing this army from the battlefield. Which might not be a good, you know, if you have an army slot occupied, you know, AI can cheat in terms of money, recruitment, but they can't cheat army slots. So if they don't have army slot, they can't recruit another army. So if we keep something so weak on the field, it's actually pretty easy to deal with the rest instead of letting them have a chance to recruit someone stronger. Did you take some Ayi's fan? We did. So we trespassed Zamba. That's fine. I can throw these two armies at her encampment, take them out, move towards Pengcheng's temple, and then swing our army around towards Zamba afterwards. And then these three army closes. They're all on march. That attack that they did, and they can't get back. They pulled out way too far, and now they can't move back. So his retreat really puts them in a pickle. Which means we have our pick of the fight. 
Panjang's our best capture chance, so Panjang will do most of the fighting. It'll be a bunch of small night battles as we grab them individually and try to capture them in battles. Maybe two battles here with Panjang. This one, Panjang's not going to get a chance to join, unfortunately. We could also just not fight them. Because they're so weak, they're not going to be material for the final fight. So as long as Panjang can crush these two, it doesn't really matter what he does afterwards. I think that's the game plan. Okay. So I think we'll end our episode here. Uh, the little bit of movement after that fight is not going to get saved. That's not a big deal. Uh, even if the on reload movement decreased a little bit, so he won't be able to go as far as he did now. Not going to make a major difference. Essentially, we're almost there in terms of saving the, the Emperor. That will happily happen next episode. And we are getting close to Duke. The temple, I don't think, changes the prestige, but capturing Xu Chang will definitely increase and then plus this gives us the 10 point satisfaction we really really want that this is going downhill fast we can boost it but it, we will but it's just not that helpful we have so many more fights against Han factions that we just can't avoid going to very close to zero essentially but that's the game plan we save the Emperor next episode and we're probably going to declare war on Zhangdao and Zanbat. Zhangdao is almost dead. Maybe we won't even move that little distance. We'll just declare war on Zhangdao instead first and have this army fight Zhangdao. These two will fight Lady Bian. Oh, maybe I want to do this here in case the movement decrease happens. This is our save point. We'll come back right here and fight this battle. Um, there, we can't see percentages because it's giving us a close defeat, but I'm sure we'll win and we'll see exactly if we can capture any of them. And then we'll be in striking distance of Tall Tall as well and we'll hit him and we'll see if we can capture any of them as well. So we'll come back here next time. Until then, bye!